All right, hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and this is Prox Fight here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Ranger Guardians and Let's Play. And if you didn't miss out during the last one, we went and completed off with our time in the old mansion, and not only that, but we went and battled out with the boss Meganium from the Pincers, and we did also have Blue Eyes captured so we can learn some more useful information uh, for what uh, Blue Eyes is going to tell us to figure out where Summer is going to be. Now, before we go and start heading back over to Till Village, because that is going to be our next location uh, with our time of the game, because we do have to go and learn. Now, we have to go and report back to Ran uh, from Murph, uh, so we do have to go and head back over to where the other previous island is going to be at, so that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Uh, but I will be editing out uh, that part anyway, so that you guys don't have to see me have to go and, uh, tr well, hopefully try to traverse all the way back over to there. Uh, but for right now, we do have one little quick thing that I do want to go and do, and that is to show you guys a hidden Pokemon location. If you haven't really went and picked up with this Pokemon yet, but you should have already went and picked up with this Pokemon anyways. It's pretty easy and a pretty common Pokemon to find around. Uh, but if you want to go and find a swarm of them, uh, I know a perfect, exact, good place for it. So we're going to go and bring out with our man Raikou, and we're going to do a little bit of a roar type of area around out here. So let's go and do that. Now, I wish I could have went and probably showed this to you guys off at the very beginning of our town when we first arrived over here to Noir Forest, uh, but I'm going to show it to you guys right now anyways. So, if you come across over here to this type of area, uh, you should be able to go and find a whole bunch of Sentrids out here, and uh, let's just kind of go and battle out for one for now, and I'll show you guys um, all about with Sentrid here. But there we go, got ourselves Sentrid, already captured, already easy, and said as done as anyways, so perfect. Ah, uh, and no S rank from that, but that's okay. Yeah, but again, if you don't know about Sentret, Sentret does have the plus one type of tackle uh, type of stuff so that if you ever do want to go and tackle through anything, uh, Sentret is good for that. But that is so far about it. There's nothing really anything else that's too special around out here anyways. Um, but yeah, that's the only one little hidden location for those uh, Pokemon over there. Now, however, I do have Vault Pick still added into the team because we do have to go and find out where that Osh is going to be so that we can go and add that to our browser location uh, for that. But for right now, we're going to head down through this way and meet up with Murph. And uh, while we go through this type of segment here, I uh, just want to let you guys know that not only that we're going to be doing uh, Pokemon Ranger Guardian size, but of course, we are going to be having to go and do a little bit of some Okami HD as well, too. And... Uh, I believe for what we actually have to do in that game, I think we still have to do a little bit of some more exploration around within the Roroshimi Coast. So that should be pretty exciting. I know that we just went and did the whole dojo side of things uh, with the sensei and whatnot. So we got some brand new moves. Uh, but can I go and ask you to report back to this to Ran? Okay, sure. Why not, Murph? Uh, so I'll go continue with my uh, questioning on at the Union. So thank you. All right. So off goes Murph. We'll let him go and do his own thing. And I think for right now is that I'll meet you guys back over at the previous island that we went to from before. I'll just have to go and just jump over some bridges and whatnot since the whole bridge is completely broken now. And Booker Stiles went and, and uh, fixed up with the bridge yet. But I'll see you guys over at the previous island uh, from before. And we'll go and talk back over to where Rand's going to be. And also figure out where that Osh is as well too. So I'll see you guys when I get there. Okay, guys, and I am back, and here is the location on where that Osh is going to be. Now, also as well, I totally forgot about one other thing is, is that if you guys did miss out during the last episode, is that we also had to go and do some time traveling with Celebi, and we do actually have another tag-along partner with us, which that is going to be with Piplup, or I should say Redfield, which that was a previous Nuzlocke member on our team from before, but that's pretty cool. We do have Piplup uh, as a tag-along partner for that type of world that's going to be happening, and I know that I will be showing you guys where those uh, type of missions are going to be uh, within that other type of realm uh, where Celebi will be able to go and take us uh, back to because uh, I know that we just unlocked that during the last episode which that's pretty nice uh, but yeah you can also find extra other Pokemon within those type of areas but you just can't bring them over here into this type of world which that kind of sucks so you kind of basically kind of have to like start anew uh, literally um, within that type of world so you can't just bring the same Pokemon that we have here in this type of area to bring on over here to the past it just won't really work that way but here we go. So now we got ourselves with the Oddish now, and let's run right on into it. And let's go and see what we can do here. This Oddish really should be all that too bad anyways. And just like that, we got the Oddish. Perfect. All right, and what is that going to be? It is going to be an A rank. Oh, come on, man. What is going on around out here? I thought that was, of course, going to be with an S rank right there. I didn't even touch the Oddish or anything for that nature. 
All right. Well, also too, uh, before I uh, before I go and forget about this, is that if you ever want to know exactly where you need to be going and planning out next, if let's say for example uh, you're kind of like speed running through the game or something and you don't know exactly where you need to go, uh, basically always check out your stats because you can always know exactly what your next objective is going to be. So upon coming back to Tilt Village, Murph asked you to go and report back to Rand. So that is perfect. That is exactly what we do need. And now we can go and head on over to where we need to head on over from there. So I'll see you guys in just a little minute uh, for when I go and head on over to where Rand's going to be. And uh, we'll go and continue on with the story from there. All right, guys. And here we are. We're finally back over at where Rand's place is going to be. So let's go and enter on back here into this area now. So how's it going, everybody? So welcome back. So how is your Starler working? Well, it's been doing pretty well, I want to say. So show it to me for a sec. Ooh, are we gonna, gonna be getting ourselves another upgrade? That'd be pretty cool. So yep, it looks fine right to me. Aw. Come on, Demo. I think we're gonna at least gonna be giving myself another upgrade or something beforehand. So thanks for your good work. Sorry to be abrupt, but can you go give me a report? Yeah, sure, why not? There's a pretty uh, hectic type of old mansion type of stuff going on, but you caught the pincer's leader, blue eyes, uh, so that's amazing. Yeah. So now that we finally be able to go figure out what the pinches are up to, and also you brought Amon's book, so which should be the key to be solving the mystery? So Proxy did an excellent job. So of course you too, Pichu. Yeah, you know what? Pichu did the best of work because Pichu was the one that actually went and captured Blue Eyes for us. So that was very helpful right there. Hey, there you go. Put your little jingle out there for us, Pichu. So Proxy, you go and show me that book? Sure. I know that we went and uh, got that from Murph. That's the Legends of the Oblivia region, huh? I've heard rumors about it, but it really exists. The writing is really small and cramped. Uh, so this is a thick, difficult-looking book, but Leanne will be able to finish reading uh, it before they go and know it. So unfortunately, it's not going to be that easy. Either Amun was a very strange person, or over half of the book is written in Oblivious Ancient Scripts. So, but the pictures that we were after this book weren't they? Uh, they it may take a little while, but I'll try to go and read it. I'm going to borrow this book, okay? Yeah, sure, why not? You can borrow it. All right, so it seems like that's going to probably take a little while. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to go and tell you one thing about the signs. In addition to writing Raikou and getting its assistance, it's possible for the ancient hero to call a friend Pokemon with a single sign. So, however, even if the hero who has strong, pure feelings of the friendship uh, towards the Pokemon only could, uh, could only call one Pokemon at a time. So you must direct your feelings of friendship towards that one Pokemon in order for it to call it. Uh, that is the same that is for both people and Pokemon. So if you find another strange figure, you might want to record it in your styler. Yeah, we should go and do that. So by the way, the wireless tower repairs are unfortunately taking longer than I thought. So I wrote a report of everything that was happening up to this point. So I want you to, to give it to Murph uh, from the Union PR. Uh, so now it looks like we have to do some backtracking around out here, which that's fine by me. All right, so there's the reports. And so I wonder how many years it's been since I wrote a report by hand. I never would have thought that being cut off from a wireless communication would be so inconvenient. Yeah, unfortunately, we have to go into uh, into some olden times out here. Uh, we have to be the, the delivery boy for the time being. So anyways, you know what? I'm going to see you guys in just in a little while. I'm going to have to go do some backtracking, make my way back over to Tilt Village, and we'll go and hand out over the report back to Murph. So I'll see you guys when we get there. Okay, guys, and here we are. We're back at Tilt Village. So hopefully now we'll be able to go and see where Murph is going to be at. So he should be somewhat located around down here where the port's going to be at now. All right. So, hey, welcome back. So did you go and make sure to go and tell them about my heroics? Oh, and by the way, how was the wireless tower looking? Yeah, still under repairs right now. But there's the report, Murph. Uh, so what's this? Uh, this is a mount needed to repair, I see. So the extent of the damage is written in great detail. Hmm. So since there's no spare antenna, it looks like we still have to go and take a lot of time to fix it. Uh, so you're pretty good, Pokemon Ranger. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, no, it's Red Eyes. So kidnapping Blue Eyes is pretty impressive, huh? So kidnapping? Uh, that's not a nice thing to go and say, but who are you? All that we just needed to do was just get some information. It wasn't really kidnapping. So I'm the red leader of the pitchers. My name is, uh, Red Eyes. So you cannot Blue Eyes, so she's a valuable associate. I want her back as soon as possible. There's a little chance uh, you'll just get her back, so I propose the following. So how about uh, a prisoner swap? Your fellow Ranger Summer for my colleague Blue Eyes. Well, I think that seems like a, somewhat of a pretty good deal. 
There's no way they can go say no. Okay, so let's decide. The daybreak ruins are over to the east of the Tilt Village, so I'll be waiting for you there. However, you and Blue Eyes should go and come alone. So you bring anyone else with you, I can't guarantee summer safety. Oh, man. Yeah, Pichu's really upset. Uh, what's wrong, Pichu? Are you trying to say that you'll go too? Uh, so fine, take your Pokemon alone. Uh, uh, or pick, take your Pokemon along. Uh, but without their Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Rangers are pretty useless. So well then, I'll be waiting. Well, what a relief. Summer's is okay, so I'll go get Blue Eyes for the swap. Oh, and there she is right there. So, hey, what's going on? I still have a lot of questions uh, I want to go and ask you about. Stop asking about me already. A red-clad guy called something like Red Eyes offers to go and swap you for Summer. The place is in Daybreak Ruins, so I hate to admit it, but you're free. Is that true? I owe Red Eyes for this one. So I understand. So take me to the Daybreak Ruins. So Prox Blue Eyes is all yours. Do you all finally see Summer again? I think Red Eyes said that Daybreak Ruins are over to the east of Tilt Village, so be careful. I'll see you when you return. Alright, so that looks like our next objective. And let's, of course, go and make sure that we go and save as well, too. There we go. And all set and ready to go now. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure that you guys go and click on that subscribe button. And not only that, but if you guys do want to uh, like and comment down below to share your support for this episode for today. And if you guys do want to go and click on the notification bell to keep yourself up to date with any type of new videos on the channel. Uh, not only that, but of course we are doing uh, a new series that is going to be for Spiral's Hero Tale. If you guys are going to uh, see that episode, it's pretty fun so far. We're already uh, sitting at episode 2 for right now. So Daybreak Ruins, so I wonder if I could go and enter on into this cliffside now, or do I still can't do that? No, unfortunately, it seems like for right now, the cliffside is still going to be inactive for our time, but that's okay. So let's just go and start heading up through this type of side here. Yeah, and if you guys kind of see that weird black bar type of thing, unfortunately, I can't really go and change anything around with that. Unfortunately, it just kind of has to kind of just disappear on its own time uh, for it to go and disappear. So it doesn't really last for too long, though. Okay, so over to the east, that's what it said. So, I believe this is where we have to go and start heading on over towards you, right? And I think there was something that we couldn't really go and do too much about, but this should be the area now. Let me see here. And we go and head up into this pathway, which I think that's what's going to happen. Oh, we got some pincers. Uh, so my leader, I'm glad that you're safe. I'm sorry that to have worried you. Well, I think you'll agree, but it seems like that's a waste to just to get back a hostage as valuable as a rager. So, we'll just take you back by force. Whoa. So cool of AV Palm, you're up. Oh, we got some brand new mods. Here we go. So let's see how well I can kind of work around with these guys. So we'll probably have to bring out with uh, Dust more out here for this one. So let's bring it up with Dust Warrant, and hopefully that can kind of help out a little bit. Okay, that seems pretty crazy. We have to be really careful for what's going to happen with the, well, within that Kalava right there. Alright, not too bad there. Let me just try and pick up with Kalava as quickly as I can. Ooh, I have to watch out for that flamethrower. Alright, there we go. That seems pretty good for now. There we go, we got Kalava. Don't have to worry about that Pokemon anymore. Now I can just go and try to pick up with Ambipalm. Come on, we're almost there. Ah, there we go. Now we got it. Alright, let's see how our score was going to be this time. Ah, uh, B. And I'll take it. Ah, so Ambipalm is going to be at plus three for the crush. So yeah, do you have any other type of Pokemon now? pincers uh, so that we thought that this would work well it didn't really uh help you out all that much so it looked like we did uh something not so bright so forgive us our dear leader hey okay, ranger so let's just go and pretend that that didn't just happen yeah all right well let's go and head up through here now and i think there should be a save point just right up around up in this way so that's even better Alright, 
And I think that's good enough for now. So I'm going to just go and end off with this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one from when we go and start heading on into this place here. Known as the uh, Daybreak of Ruins. Which that is where we have to go and head on over towards to. So see you guys then. And, uh, and of course peace.